The first thing you'll want to make sure you have on your computer is Node.js. Once you've installed Node.js on your computer, you can open up a terminal. Once you're in your folder of choice, you can say npx create react app. And then after that, name the app whatever you'd like. I'm going to say my react to do list, click return. Okay, and once it's finished creating your React app, it should look something like this. You can then open up your code editor of choice. I like Visual Studio Code. Once you've opened up your code editor, you can go file, open, find the folder that you just created, the React app. Just click on the whole folder, click open. I just wanted to take a little bit of time to explain what is a React app? How does it work? Um, this is things I wish I would have been taught when I first learned React. Uh, if you look in the public file, there's something called index.html. You can open that up. What you'll notice is this is just a standard HTML file. The way React works is React is called a single page application. So what is happening is React is loading the entire app, your whole app, all on this index.html uh, page. And what you can see down here where it says div ID root, React, what React is doing is the, all the code that you add into this app.js file, all the future code, uh, it's going to be basically putting it all together and it's going to replace this div ID root with your whole app on this one page. And uh, if you go into your source file and go down to index.js, you can kind of see how that's working too. So it's saying, look for the document element root in place of that root, what you should render is the app. The app can be found if you go up one layer to app.js. And so it's returning this app.js screen. And the biggest thing to, to know here with React, uh, so that it all makes sense too, is all React is, is it's kind of a fancy way to return HTML code. Um, you'll notice down here, this function, this app function, it's just returning uh, HTML code. Um, it's written a little different with like class names and stuff like that. It's called JSX um, technically, but basically what it's doing is it makes it easy to return HTML code onto this one page, this index.html file. And that's basically how React works. The last thing I'll say here is a big thing, uh, reason why you should remember this is because of your styling. Um, even if you add more than one a CSS file. Currently, there's one CSS file called app.css, and we'll get in more into this later. But um, even if you add more, like you create a home screen or something, and you add home.css, what's really happening is all of those CSS files are still on this one index.html page. So my point is basically, you always will only have one CSS page in your entire app. Even if you create other functions, other CSS uh, files, all those CSS files are in this one page. And so if you accidentally name some uh, the CSS one thing in one CSS file, and then you accidentally use that same name in another CSS file, just mess everything up. And again, I'll go more into this in a little bit, but I just wanted you to be able to visualize what exactly is going on. If you'd like to learn more about React, I put together a course. It should be on the screen. If you watch that video, you'll learn all the essentials you need to know to be a React developer. Also, if you're interested in learning React Native, which allows you to build apps for the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store, you can watch this video here. It'll teach you React Native development in 47 minutes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.